Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome to Cancelled Part 3. That's right. Things have gotten so bad, I had to make a third video on the topic. And at the current rate things are going, it won't be the last. I can tell you that right now. But for those of you who are uninformed, I made two previous videos where I discussed how this pandemic is affecting Hollywood. And because of this pandemic, Hollywood has decided to push back a number of movies that were supposed to come out in March, April, May. Majority of them were in that time period. Some Like one in July and now one in June. A couple in June as you're about to see. And some of the movies I talked about in those videos were Quiet Place 2, Mulan, No Time to Die, uh, Fast and Furious 9, New Mutants... Black Widow, Minions 2, and you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, it can't get much worse. Well, you're wrong. It can get worse because Warner Brothers today announced that several of their summer movies have been delayed. The biggest one, obviously, as you can tell by the picture below, is Wonder Woman 1984. That's right. Wonder Woman has now joined the club. And to think that, you know, that Wonder Woman, 1984, considering it already had a huge delay before this, it was supposed to come out in November 2019, got pushed back all the way to June, to think that it would have another delay like this, you know, is crazy. But, you know, that's just how things are right now. Everything's just, it, it's chaotic, it's wild. And... As you can see right here, Wonder Woman is going to be moving from June 5th to August 14th. And I remember there was like some rumors, some articles that said, Oh, Wonder Woman 1984 is going to be on streaming. It's going to be on HBO Max. And I'm just like, that's some BS. There is no way Warner Brothers is not going to put Wonder Woman in theaters and move it straight to streaming because one you know this is a sequel to a movie that was loved universally loved by critics and audiences and also made a ton of money you know domestically it was the, the highest grossing movie of that summer in 2017 and in the, of the dceu it's still the highest grossing movie domestically with over 400 million like and the and two is that this well this and black widow were the two most anticipated movies of 2020 these were the two most hyped movies and wonder woman 1984 screams billion dollar movie why on earth would warner brothers just you know just throw it on streaming and miss out on a on a boatload of cash it makes no sense so I never believed those rumors. And so, yeah. Wonder Woman is going to be going to August. Which, although sounds kind of weird, it's not that weird because, you know, if you forgot, um, a good four years ago, uh, Warner Brothers released Suicide Squad in August. Although that movie was bad, it made a ton of money anyway. So Wonder Woman 1984 has a chance at beating Suicide Squad's record. So at least a good movie can hold the record, hopefully. And this also helps August, because August, before all this chaos with, with the coronavirus, August looked terrible. There was nothing interesting at all. But because Wonder Woman's now moving to August, uh, it gives it a lot more, gives it a real big boost. So, I mean, if there's one positive, is that August looks a lot better now than it did, like, six months ago. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's sad, you know, to see Wonder Woman 1984 move from this June 5th release date. Because the 1st of June, that's when um, the first Wonder Woman came out. And a lot of sequels like to have the same release date as their predecessors, but that's not going to happen here, obviously. But at least Wonder Woman 1984 has a release date, unlike Black Widow, which is still up in the air as we speak. 
And also movies like Mulan and Quiet Place 2 are still up in the air. And Minions 2. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, da, 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 da. But, yeah. Other than Wonder Woman 1984, things aren't that much interesting. I mean, they're big, but nowhere near as big as Wonder Woman. So, yeah, there are three more Warner Brothers movies that were supposed to be released, but now they're up in the air now. You got the James Wan horror movie, Malignant, which I don't... I don't even know. I don't even have an opinion on it. I have no one's seen a single frame of that movie. I haven't seen a trailer, a poster, nothing. So I don't have an opinion on it. And because I'm just so sick. I was so sick of talking about horror movies. Like, I was about to go insane. That, honestly, I don't care what happens to any horror movie now. Because I was so sick to death of them. But yeah, for those of you, all you James Wan fans, I'm sorry, but... You're just going to have to wait until Warner Brothers dates that movie again. Uh, the second one was In the Heights. Again, I really don't care that much about this either. Because um, musicals really aren't my thing. Although there are some musicals that I've seen that I do legitimately enjoy. Some, some legitimately. Some ironically. Like Cats. <laughs> but... Yeah, I really don't care that much. For all, so for all you Lin Manuel Miranda fans, I'm so, again I'm sorry, but you're just gonna have to wait, you know, until Warner Bros. dates it again. And then the final one was Scoob, the latest Scooby Doo movie. It was supposed to come out May 15th, and now it's gone. Honestly, I didn't expect Scoob to stay on that release date. I mean, every, almost every other May movie you know dropped out of may like black widow spiral um some other ones it was like run from that was a horror movie uh fast furious 9 like do you did you really expect scoop to stay come on and it, it gets it's really sad because scoop actually looked quite good even though there were some decisions about that movie i'm I didn't like so much, like, some of the character designs kind of threw me off, like, like, of the five main characters, only Shaggy and Scooby looked accurate, everybody else looked weird, especially Fred, like, what they do, what did they do to him, and then there's, like, this, and Scoob was supposed to set up, like, this whole Hanna-Barbera cinematic universe, which has potential, but I don't know, I mean, we have to wait and see, you know, when it comes out, and I don't know Again, with, like, these three movies, because Wonder Woman will be in August. For these other three movies, I don't know when they'll come out. But I, I can make guesses. Uh, like, if I were, you know, Warner Brothers, I put Malignant, I put that in um, January. Because it's, I don't know. That sounds harsh, but I don't think, I, I can't imagine it was going to make that much money anyway. So I would just put it in January, because January is well known for horror movies. Put that as like the first movie of the year, and it might make a couple dollars, maybe. For Scoob, ooh, this is gonna be tough. Uh, I mean the calendar for twenty twenty one is a little empty right now. I wouldn't move it to next summer. That's way too long. Maybe springtime. I have to check a calendar, a movie calendar for next year to see if there's any real room. Maybe February, because February is a good enough month for family films. I mean, look at Lego Movie, SpongeBob, Sponge Out of Water, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> All did great during that time, so maybe put it there. In the Heights. Oh, that's hard. That's really hard. You know, of, of these, actually... Now that I think about it, only Scoob should get a theatrical release. Malignant in the Heights, I'm sorry, you're going straight to HBO Max. <laughs> okay, you know what? Now, I'm thinking about it again. Okay, just Malignant can go to HBO Max. In the Heights can come out. I don't know. I'm looking up a calendar right now, but... Yeah, so... At this point... Majority of the May movies are gone. The only ones that are left 
are, to my knowledge, uh, SpongeBob, Sponge on the War. Oh, oh my God, SpongeBob, Sponge on the Run, Arms Foul, The Green Knight, and some other movie. I forgot what it was. Uh, what is it? What is it? List of American films. I'm looking at a different computer. I'm looking at, at my uh, laptop. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Irresistible. Those are the only ones left. I don't think any of them are going to stay <laughs> at this point. It would be best for them to move. But then there's like June. All there's left is Candyman, Soul, Top Gun Maverick. I have a feeling those are going to change. I don't think too much is going to change in July. Um, I really hope Tenet doesn't change. Like, please, I hope that stays because I'm really excited about that movie. I don't want anything to happen to it. Uh, yeah, that's 2020. In August, it's kind of wide open now. So if they want to release some movies there, go right ahead. <laughs> that's for 2021. I'm looking at it now. Uh, there's Mortal Kombat. That's I'll watch that. <laughs> um, Fatherhood, Chaos Walking, Rumble, nothing big. Yeah. Anything in March? There's the Boss Baby too. Uh, I don't know if I'd put it there. This is hard because so many movies are now just gonna be all over the place. They're gonna have to change. It's going to be chaos <laughs> when it comes to these release dates. Like, it's just, it's going to be madness. But, yeah, that's about it. With, you know, not, you know, it wasn't like a whole bunch of movies. But still pretty significant, I must say. So, yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, you know, like this video, leave a comment. Uh, you know, share, turn on notifications, you know the drill. Uh, again, I might make a part, I'll probably make a part four, because I know some more news is going to come out, probably in a few days, maybe in a week or so. But, yeah. yeah we'll see. We'll see. And that's it. And I am out.